Hi, my name is Christian Delfino with Roland's Professional AV Division here at Sweetwater with the V1 HD 4-channel HDMI video switcher. Now, the V1 HD is a totally self-contained, standalone 1080p video switcher that mixes four HDMI inputs, gives you two HDMI outputs, one for your program output, one for your preview output, as well as has a 12-channel audio mixer available that will take in analog audio in, as well as a plug-in powered microphone in, uh, along with the stereo audio coming from all four of your HDMI sources. And that audio can be output out the analog outputs on the back, or it can also be embedded into the HDMI output so you can have your audio and video uh, mixed together over one cable. The other nice thing that we do with the V1 HD is we can add delay to it, any one of the individual audio channels so you can make sure that you get perfect lip sync so your audio and your video are all mixed uh, together. So, quick overview of the V1 HD. First thing you can see, it's extremely compact and very, very portable. It'll fit right into your laptop bag so you can go around and, and do a gig or an event or take it to any place that you need to be able to mix video put it on a screen, record it, or even web stream it. So, operation of the uh, V1 HD, extremely simple. We have our four cross points here, corresponding to our four HDMI inputs, and you'll notice that the preview output will also output a quad view. So all four of my inputs are displayed on a single HDMI screen. Extremely convenient uh, for that. Um, on the cross points, what you'll see is that red, that is typically what is going to my program output, so whatever is, is up there, and you can see that I can just switch my program here, and we'll leave it on there, and then green is what I'm gonna take next, and that is actually corresponds to what's happening on the multi-viewer. I can see what's next, and I can see what my program is. Now, to do transitions uh, between your video sources, very easy. Here we have the T fader, and I just have this in a mix mode, so I can just do a nice, smooth mix. Uh, between that. I can also do uh, cuts. Another way to mix instead of using the fader is actually I've set one of my transform buttons here to actually be a take button and I can just do a take between those or if you want to get a little bit fancy you can do some wipes and some things like that but I like to keep it in mix so I'm going to do that. Another uh, capability that we have with the V1 HD is that there's over 30 effects that you can use uh, to do compositions and also some special performance effects. Let's take a look at keying. And what keying is, is removing a color uh, from one of the video sources so that you can superimpose it on top of your other picture. So what I have here, I'll just show you full screen, is uh, just a PowerPoint presentation coming in from my computer. And this is gonna give me my lower thirds or my titles um, that I have here. So I'm gonna go back to my main uh, program. I'm gonna select my uh, titles, which is number four here, uh, to go next. I'm gonna turn on the keyer effect that I already have pre-programmed, and I'm just gonna hit the take button to be able to mix that in. So now you can see that I've superimposed that uh, uh, lower third right over top the video, and if I wanna switch the video sources underneath, I have the ability to do that as well. So I'm just gonna disengage that, turn this effect off, and then we also have eight different memory locations. I'll hit the memory button, and I can, um, select a different memory, and you notice that on the preview screen, it gives me the information as to what is preset in that memory location. So I've, uh, right now I have uh, selected on effects A is a picture in picture, a quarter size picture in picture. So I'm gonna disengage the memory, I'm gonna turn that picture in picture effect on, and I'm gonna bring uh, my little GoPro uh, shot that's on the stage right up here, and we'll hit the take button, and you can see that that pulls that up there. Now, that isn't the location of where I want it in the program, so I'm just gonna move that using the dials here, and we can just position that wherever we want on the screen. So really, really easy to use, and that, again, is the picture-in-picture -picture feature. So we'll just disengage that, and then go to one more memory and show you some really uh, cool kind of effects that we can do, and that is uh, doing some funky kind of visualize effects. So if you're a musician playing with a band, you guys are going out to gig on a Saturday night, or you're a house of worship or a church, and you know Saturday night the, the youth group comes in and they wanna do something that's a little bit more uh, contemporary, a little bit more leading edge, you can add some of these cool uh, colorized and embossed type of effects onto your video, uh, just to give it a different kind of appeal. So you can do some funky stuff. The other thing that we can do is, is put it into a, a BPM sync mode and tap along with the tempo of the music and that will actually just transition back and forth along with the tempo of what we're doing. Uh, so pretty cool, so we'll just disengage uh, that effect there. Now, to operate the V1 HD to get into the, the, any one of the settings or anything, simply hold down the setup button, 
which is down here, it'll pull up your menu right here on the screen. Simply use the transform buttons to cycle through all of your different uh, menu options. And one that I'll point out to you that's very important is this feature, HDCP. And HDCP is a copy protection scheme that's typically found on Blu-ray uh, players and then also a lot of content that you may download uh, off the internet from a legitimate uh, media store and want to play from your computer. In order to play it out, uh, the computer or the Blu-ray device needs to get a key from your display device. So either from your projector or your display that says, hey, I'm a legitimate output source. Uh, the user is not trying to copy this content and they do this handshake back and forth. A lot of switchers don't allow this handshake to actually happen. But with the V1 HD, you can uh, very uh, confidently play those copy protected sources and mix them with sources like cameras or computers or other uh, HDCP uh, content enabled uh, sources and, and uh, have no issues with that whatsoever. So what you put in, you're gonna be able uh, to see on your display. Now, as you've seen, we've done all of the operation of the V1 HD right here from the hardware control surface. There is no additional computer needed um, for operating the V1 HD. However, we do also make a V1 HD remote control software. Connects very simply from USB. This works off a of Mac off a PC or also off an iPad if you use the USB camera connection kit. And you can see this gives you a really nice display, uh, fully interactive with what's happening. And as I make changes here, it's also gonna make changes on the RCS. You can also see that I get a much bigger display uh, for my audio mixer, my presets and everything. So just a nice companion uh, to the V1 HD if you did want a second interface, uh, especially one for your audio mixing. So the V1 HD is now available. You can contact your Sweetwater sales engineer for more information. And again, I'm Christian Delfino with Roland's Professional AV.